Here are today's top stories. General Motors announced its plans to shut down four truck and SUV plants, and they may even sell their Hummer line. The company cites rising gas prices as the reason. The long, long, long Democratic primary season is finally coming to an end. Or is it? Senator Clinton's camp says she is absolutely not ready to concede. Meanwhile, the Clinton campaign apologized today for a remark former President Bill Clinton made about a Vanity Fair reporter. He called the guy a scumbag. The article suggested Bill Clinton was seeing a lot of women on the road. An emotional homecoming for one of the more than 400 children seized from a polygamous sect in Texas. The Texas Supreme Court ruled last week that the children could go home because they were in no immediate danger. Doctors call Senator Kennedy's brain surgery to remove a cancerous tumor a success. They say the 76-year-old should not suffer any neurological damage. It pays to be funny. The top voices for The Simpsons will get nearly $400,000 per episode. It's time to dish about this week's celebrity news with People Magazine staff editor David Kaplan. Hi, David. Hey there. Okay, you know the drill. Let's do this in under 60 Let's seconds. Let's do it. Ready and go. First, Lindsay Lohan shacking up with Samantha Ronson. That's right. A source tells People that Lindsay and Sam are living together in L.A. right now, and in fact, they're a couple that they are, quote, together. Kirsten Dunn's breaking her silence about rehab. That's right. She says she never went to Cirque Lodge for drug or alcohol abuse. It was for depression, and she just needed some time alone. Ashley Simpson definitely pregnant. She's definitely pregnant. In fact, her new husband, Pete Wentz, blogged about it saying, we just wanted to officially announce it after the first trimester. So expect a little Wentz Simpson coming soon. Tell us about Brangelina's new chateau in France. Brad and Angelina just signed the lease on a chateau in the south of France that's valued at $70 million. And their neighbors include David and Victoria Beckham and Johnny Depp. And finally, you guys interviewed American Idol winner David Cook. That's right, David tells people he is on top of the world since winning and that his life has completely changed since winning Idol. Okay, time's up for these stories and more. Check out the new issue of People Magazine on newsstands now. Quick, who was the first American astronaut in space? Was it A, Neil Armstrong, B, Alan Shepard, C, John Glenn, or do you prefer D? We've never been to space, it's all special effects. The answer's coming up. $5,000 for a bath may seem a little steep until you consider what's in the bath. Pure Evian water. That's 1,000 bottles of Evian with rose petals floating on top. And no, Serena Williams is not included. I know because I checked two times. This treatment is only available to guests staying in the penthouse of the Hotel Victor in South Beach. But you can recreate it in your apartment after a trip to your local supermarket. Who was the first American in space? It was Alan Shepard, who later became the only man to play golf on the moon. Although I'm pretty sure a couple of Tiger Woods' balls have landed there. That's all the hot news we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and may all your news be hot.